celebration of Jesus as the true King of Kings. To the non-Jewish observer, they may have wondered what is all the shouting about, and so they could have concluded that Jesus was the new king and that this was his coronation. After all, the people were calling him king. After all, they were waiting signs. They were yelling Hosanna, which means save us and help us. But little did they know that in just a few days, some of the same voices would be crying, crucify him, crucify him. What was the shouting all about? They were shouting because they indeed thought that Jesus was a king. They thought he was a political king who would restore Israel to political power. They were tired of being oppressed, and they were tired of being mistreated. They were weary of the prohibitions and the persecutions. They were tired of being the tail and not the head. If God had been promising them a Messiah. So they were waiting on the promised Messiah. And so the shouting they would have said is because we believe that he is the king. But they should have paid more close attention. Because if they had noticed he wasn't riding on a horse, he was riding on a donkey. You see, in Jesus' day, kings came on warrior horses. Because horses were the animals that kings used to come and to defeat my army. But Jesus came on a donkey much like Solomon did in his day. Solomon rode into Jerusalem on a donkey because Solomon's reign was supposed to be one of peace. So Jesus came on a donkey and it was symbolic of peace. He didn't come on a war horse, but I don't think they noticed that. And the events of the week continue that Pastor Whitaker's already said. We already know the end of the story. Amen? Amen. Many became disappointed as they saw him on the trial and seemed like he wasn't going to do anything. They wondered what kind of king is this? They, they, they watched the, the people take him and mistreat him. And they watched him carry his old cross. And, and so the people, those same voices who allowed him to want to carry, or carry his old cross, started shouting, crucify him. Him. You see, they didn't understand that he is a king. 
people of God are almost finished. As we celebrate this Palm Sunday, if somebody asks you, what was this shouting all about? Why are y'all waving palms? And what's happening in the world? People often ask me, you know, when you're a preacher, you think you know all the answers. And people say, well, if God is a God of love, why would he allow that little girl to be missing? And nobody can respond. But God is a God of love. Where was he when that plane went down? Why did he keep the plane up in the air? God is a God of mercy, and God is so just. Where is your God in the midst thereof? And, and it caused me to study and research deeply, and we have to understand that when Jesus came, he got victory over sin and death, but he did not destroy Satan. Y'all need to understand that. Satan is the prince of this world, and a lot of what we see in faith is because of evil in this world. Now, God